Hey guys, this is Josiah with Mock Motion. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how you can set your work fixture offsets um, using a manual gauge block. So here we go. So I'm just going to jog my machine down. I'm going to do this real quickly, just kind of give you the concept. You get the idea. Um, so I, you could either do this with a wiggler or just by buzzing your tool off to the side of the material. But we could come to the right edge of the material, let's say here, and then we can click on um, the set X on the right side, and we've got our edge finder diameter set to a quarter inch, which is this tool diameter. And that would set my current work position. I'm going to change this from machine coordinates to half the diameter of my tool. Um, and then I could also jog in the Y up to the positive edge here. We could buzz off to the, to the edge of the material on that edge and set my Y negative side right there. And that sets to half of the diameter in the Y. Um, and then at this point, I could set my manual gauge block up on top of my work material. I can jog my X, Y centered over that. Give me a second and bring my Z down onto that device. And when I see this come to zero, uh, let's bring that right in real, real roughly here. but. Uh, then I can click Calculate Z Fixture Offset using my 2-inch gauge block with my manual um, setter here. Calculate Z Fixture Offset, and that sets my current position to 2 inches with my current tool length. So now I can jog my Z up off of material. I can take my setter block off, and at this point you would be ready to start your G-code file to machine this block. Thanks for watching. And next time.